Yo, what's up, my guys? Let's talk about the lobster. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is this movie? What the fuck is this movie? The Lobster, bro. It's the fucking lobster. You know, it's on Netflix, and you know, when you, you look at the thumbnail, and you're like, you see a movie, and it's called, it's literally fucking called The Lobster, you know? It's a very, like, famous movie. Uh, it came out in 2015, and it was nominated for uh, Best Original Screenplay, and it actually has one of the most interesting stories because it's about this fucking world, you know? It's about this world where you need a fucking relationship to live. And if you don't have a relationship, they will turn you into a motherfucking animal. The prophecy is true. So all the people who are alone are put in this like hotel and they have like 45 days to find someone of some sort of mutual thing that they have in common. Cause you have to, you, you can't just be with anybody. You have to have like one thing in common with that person. And so basically the, the main guy, Colin Farrell, did you know that he gained 40 pounds for that role? <laughs> That's an actor right there. But honestly, the reason why he did that uh, was to create this kind of average kind of man, male, just because the whole movie, the whole movie is mundane and dry and it's very, very uh, like this dark kind of dullness. There's a dullness to it and they do it on purpose that it, it's supposed to be a dark comedy. And it makes a lot of statements on like, like politics and socioeconomics and, you know, just the world as a whole. Hmm. See how relaxed I am? I like this chair. Offers good support. It is ergonomically correct. It's a good chair. Especially the one scene in the very beginning where they're talking about uh, why you need to be in a relationship, which basically is the the whole world is so black and white and it's like you need to be in a relationship because uh, if you're not in one, then you're gonna get raped and you're gonna get molested and you need to be with somebody or else you're gonna choke to death. Um, you know if you're if you're eating alone and you choke on food, there's no one there who can who can help you. So, Basically, this whole, this, it's, it's this whole black and white kind of thinking. And there's also this secret society of people who don't have relationships, who are called loners, and they're in the forest, and they listen to electronic music. But they're also black and white because they think that being alone is the best way. But the main message of the movie is, you know what? Not everything is so fucking black and white. And Colin Farrell ends up finding the love of his life. But honestly, this movie makes a really fucking cool statement on love and what it means to really love somebody. Like the part where they take these people hostage, uh, the loners invade the hotel and they take some people hostage and they make this guy try to shoot his own wife, but they put like no ammunition in the weapon. And that whole scene is just like, you know, why the fuck are you with that person? Yo, why the fuck? Are you with that person? We just, we're just in a relationship, why? Because society tells us to do it or because, oh, that person's hot or because, you know, we have like maybe one thing in common, but do you really love that person? Do you really passionately love that person? And that's the statement, but it does it in like a funny way. This movie's on Netflix. Go see it. It's called The Fucking Lobster, bro. So that's my two cents on it, guys. Peace the fuck out. It's your boy, Nick A. Marino, in the house.